welcome back to another Makers with Heart. Um, it's just our normal video. It's not a mystery envelope. And I want to show you something super exciting. We all love the stamp of the month, always every month. But this month and going forward, some of them will have thin cuts with them. So this month, it's the stamp of thin cut from Owl of Us. So you get these cute little owls and the ones in blue have coordinating thin cuts that go with them. Um, you might be wondering, well, how does that work? So let me show you. <clears throat> so normally, as you all know, with a $50 order, you can get the stamp and thin cut set for just $5. I'm sorry, stamp set for just $5. Um, that hasn't changed. You can still get just the stamp set for $5. Or if you're one of my VIPs, you can get that for free. That has not changed at all. But if you want the thin cut set, you can get the stamp and thin cut set with a $50 order for just $22.95. So that's a good deal. Um, but if you're one of my VIPs, you can get both of them for just $17.95. So you're just buying the thin cuts um, with that. So I'm really excited about this. I've known about it. Um, gosh, I think since August, first part of August, when we had our um, virtual convention, and I couldn't tell you that it was coming until now. So I'm super excited by it. I love our, th our stamp of the months, but I'm not a fussy cut girl. So these thin cuts just frost the cake for me. I love it. So those, I hope you're excited with those as well. Um, so I've already cut um, this one and a branch. And I cut two of these at a time by using our embossing and die cutting machine. So I was able to put two pieces of paper, run it through and cut, um, two of the branches and two of the owls at the same time. So it saves me a whole bunch of time, especially when I'm mass producing something. Um, so that's a quick little tip for you. Let me grab some stamp blocks here. I've lost most of my perfect size blocks. Um, let me find a long one. <laughs> Where is my long block? There it is. It fell out of my little holder. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stamps on my blocks. And you'll see they just line up there, perfect as can be. And then the cute little owl. I just love these owls. I've got a thing for owls lately. And we have a bunch of them out here where I live. I don't like them, I'm afraid they're gonna eat my dog. But no, I like them. I like to hear them. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to grab my Memento ink because I do love my Memento ink. If you followed me for a minute, you know I do. And I'm going to just ink up this um, tree branch. And I probably should be doing that in brown because trees are brown, but I'm going to just do it with black because my card is going to kind of have black and white undertones. And I'm going to color it anyway, so. Look at there and no fussy cutting. Woohoo! I know, I'm being weird, guys. And then we have our cute little owl. How precious. Whoever designed these, kudos. I know it's somebody on the Close to My Heart design team. You did a great job. Okay, so I'm going to grab some pens 
And for the tree branch, I'm going to use um, the earth brown. And I'm going to start with light because I don't know how dark I really want to go. And the new colored pencils would work fabulous with this as well. So I'm just going to color in my tree branch. that our little owl is going to perch on. Well, he's not going to perch because he's flying, but you know what I mean. While I'm doing this, I mentioned the VIP program. If you don't know what the VIP program is, um, I'll put a link to it in the description below, but I think I figured it out that if you spend $233 a year, I think that's what it is, then this program would benefit you because for $35 a year, you get um, a percentage, I think it's 15% of your order back in what's called close to my heart cash. You can use it on pretty much the whole catalog. So not special um, workshops like the monthly specials or, um, Special, I mean, there's just a few special things you can't use it on, but pretty much 99% of that catalog, you can use your Close to My Heart cash on. And then um, you get every month with a $50 order, that free stamp and a dis, you know, discount towards the ThinkCut set like this month as well. And then you can you can save up your, your rewards points what you earn in your close to my heart cash and you use that on a big ticket item or something you've been saving for that um this is too blue that you wanted and you know so you you know saving you some money so that's a good thing <clears throat> and as long as you are a member then you don't those don't expire so the end of the year let's say you have 50 bucks sitting there to use as long as you renew your um your membership before it expires, then you don't lose that. You just carry it forward to the next to the next year. So it's really a great program. I recommend it for everybody, especially all of my regular customers who I know spend um, more than I, th I think it was two hundred thirty three dollars a year. So if you if that's you, click the link in my description and join that program. Um. Because, you know, everybody loves free stuff. And that stamp of the month every month is, it's free. So that's, that's always a plus. And then when they come out with new catalogs, I believe they start shipping those in the orders to the VIPs about a week. I don't, don't quote me on that. I, I, it might not be a week, but, you know, at least a few days earlier than non-VIPs. They'll include, you know, before the month is over. They'll include that new catalog in your order before a non-VIP person. They get them early too. Like if you order in August, you would have, towards the end of the month of August, you would have got the September, October catalog with your order, but the VIPs get them a few days earlier than everyone else. I'm going to come back in on this branch and add a darker on all the the lines. So we'll have a little bit of shading going on. And then I also send out um, little goodies to my VIPs as a thank you for joining my program. So if you're not in it, check it out. No, you know, you don't have to, it's not a requirement but it's definitely a good reward if you are meeting that minimum sale for the year. Should have done these in fall colors. Just now thought of that. I'm not ready for fall and winter. I'm a, I'm a spring summer girl. Now I'm going to come in with the medium. I was using the light. Oh, and I used the 
jade green shades. Now I'm going to come in and just go over the leaf lines with the medium. And if you're coming to my crop on the next Saturday after this video goes live, this is our make and take. This is what you'll be getting to make as well. You get to color it any way you want. So there's our cute little branch. Now we get to do the owl. And I'm going to grab what colors do we want to do our owl in. I don't want to do a gold yellow, do I? Let's grab a piece of scrap paper. Is that a good color for an owl? I don't know. No, that's too peachy. Um, Try the brown gray. Too dark. I like the light, I think, on that one. So I'm going to just color my little owl this grayish color. We're going to have a pop of color with his eyes, though. Or her eyes. I think she looks like a little girl. I will come in and darken that up so that it blends or it's not the exact same shade as the face. So I'm going to add some shading in there for this. So I'm going around the eyes. I never really cared for coloring and I'm starting to really enjoy that more. I mean, I, I like coloring, but it would just always seem so tedious, but now I'm finding it to be pretty relaxing and I'm enjoying it more and more, especially with the alcohol markers because you can blend and add so many different shades. And when, I mean, if you look at an owl or a cat or whatever it is you're coloring, they probably have different shades of color in, in their coat. So I'm just still using this light and I'm just kind of adding some darker colors. <clears throat> I've been working on the Christmas stuff. So this is a switch for me. I've been working on the home for Christmas kits. So I'm kind of in a Christmas feel, but now I'm switching it up. And I'm gonna do his tail feathers a little darker. So I'm gonna go over them again. Gonna add a little highlighting on these feathers as well. I 
Now I think I'm going to use this one, the mid um, gold yellow blend for the feet. And then of course we need a little pink nose. So I've got pale pink shades. I'm going to use the medium on this. And then for the eyes, I want a really, really bright blue. So I'm going to use the true blue shades. I'm going to start with the light. And I might go a little darker. I don't know. We'll see what the light looks like. So cute. How cute. I just love it. And then I thought we had a black. Well, I was going to go over the eyes, not the eyes, you know, this part of the eyes, but that's okay. I'm going to do something though. I'm going to add a touch of liquid glass on the eyes to give it shine. And you can't really tell a whole lot right there, but once it dries, it'll look really cute. I promise. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Grab my card base. Careful not to hit that liquid glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the branch on here. And we're going to have our little owl flying. And I want to use the stamp that says, hope your birthday's a hoot. So I got to make room for it on there. And I'm just going to use the back side of this block. I need my little squishy. And I want to be very careful with this because that is still wet. And I'm going to add the Hope Your Birthday's a Hoot right along that top. And I don't have it straight. So give me a second to straighten that up. So easy way to do that, especially with um, these thinner stamps, you know how you can bend them around. Just set it down, let it, let it take its own form and then pick it up from there. And do I wanna stay with black? I'm gonna grab my sapphire because it's gonna pop with that blue in her eyes. So I'm going to just ink this up with my sapphire. I get it everywhere. And of course, try not to get any extra on your card. And I'm going to move it down a little bit because I am going to put a border. so cute. Now I'm going to take just a black pen and I'm going to just do some little lines down the side. Um, with different lengths and then throw in some little X's in the middle of them.
So that's a fun little border around there. That's really easy to use. I just used a journaling pen, a .03. Then I am going to add our branch and find some adhesive. My desk has things everywhere, you guys. I've been in here busy creating and I just haven't cleaned anything in a while. So you can line your branch up with your stitching or go over the top of it. I'm gonna go over the top of it so it lines up on that edge. And then this is still wet. But you, can you see it, how cute it is? So I am going to carefully put some foam tape on the back, provided I can find my foam tape. Oh, here's some. You don't have to have a whole lot to hold them up. Just don't stick your finger in the in the liquid glass. And I almost just set that down. right on top of the wet liquid glass. And that doesn't take a whole long, long time to dry. Just, you know, just be careful. You know, think of it as it's, it's wet, so it needs time to dry. And I, liquid glass is something that I had um, kind of forgotten about and I've had it and so I've started using it again. It's quickly becoming a staple for me. Okay, I can't get these off. The bad part of having nails, I guess. Okay. And then we need to put our owl somewhere on here. I know it looked like I stuck my finger in that, but I didn't. And then lastly, I want to grab some sequins. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these little, um, gold. I don't know which collection they're from, but I'm going to just put a few of them on here with, I'm using liquid glass as the adhesive to do that. And when those, when that dries, it's, um, it's clear. So if you smush it through or or out, it's not going to be a problem. And put a couple more over here. Trying to find colored ones. Okay, so there's my cute little card using the stamp and thin cut set. I hope you like it. I hope you are remembering to use your liquid glass because like I said, I'm, I'm all about that right now. And um, get this stamp and thin cut. It's very popular. I've already taken several orders for it. And, um, I, I, you know, I just think it's a great thing that they're doing that. So be sure and check out the other 
uh, Makers with Heart videos. There'll be links to those in the description below on this video right here as well. And I can't wait to see you on the 25th for our Mystery Envelope Challenge. Have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.